Now, speaking of the country of Italy, that most people aren't familiar with its political changes, especially regarding the prime minister position. But recently, the news came out: the former prime minister resigned. All of a sudden, because many issues, or some call it the scandals, but meanwhile there seems to be one rising stars and is ready to shoulder the major responsibilities regarding the direction of the country. So that's why today in this episode is crucial. We need to talk about this brand new prime minister candidate and how this woman is going to reshape the political changes and also the political atmosphere within the country. And meanwhile, as a woman, she has a strong message sent to the world as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to invite our distinguished speaker, Giorgio. And Giorgio, it's a freelancer and a writer in. Italy, Giorgio, and welcome to the missing piece. The pleasure was mine. Thank you. Now I am very much looking forward to our conversation. Again, initially when I discover you, because this amazing and insightful article that you wrote it is entitled "How Giorgio Maloney Took Over the Italian Right." Now, again, as we mentioned in the intro. All of a sudden, as we say, unexpectedly, the former Prime Minister Mario Draghi resigned from this position. For most of us, aren't familiar with the details. Can you help us to understand what led to the resignation of the former Prime Minister? And also, based on the report, he was actually favored by a lot more voters and citizens in Italy. But again, this change. Was led by something unexpected. Help us understand. Okay, this change uh, was not unexpected uh, because the Giorgio Meloni uh, is a very strong. Uh, uh, just because it's the, the more current politician uh, in Italy, just because uh, the the Mario Draghi government was uh, at the end and uh, uh, Draghi. It, was so unpopular in Italy just because uh, it's not not uh, not elected, uh, is a technocrat, uh, and uh, also the she um, the majority of uh, Mario Draghi was uh, very divided, uh, was uh, very litigious. So uh, at the end, uh, when uh, Mario Draghi resigned, uh, uh, the, the favorite for the for the next election in September. Uh, Uh, is Giorgio Meloni? Uh, Giorgio, five years ago, Giorgio Meloni was the junior partner of the center right coalition. Uh, now is the, the rising star of Italian politics. It's not strange, just because uh, uh, for the, uh, the center right uh, people, Giorgio Meloni was the, the most coherent politician in Italy. Mm. Uh, no one was more coherent than her. Uh, for example, if you think uh, to um, Matteo Salvini, Matteo Salvini is uh, a right-wing politician, but he was uh, also uh, in coalition with the Five Star Movement. After that, was in the national government uh, with Mario Draghi. Uh, uh, it's not. Uh, um, It, there is a, uh, a word in Italy, it's figuraccia. Uh, Matteo mm. Salvini made some figuracce, mm. or the bel figures. Uh, Giorgio Meloni, no. Giorgio Meloni was uh, strong uh, at the position uh, with uh, a serious uh, right-wing program. And uh, um, so the, the, for, for the, the Italian people, is uh, a, a sort of, uh, um, of um, merit, just because... Uh, Uh, the, 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 the Italian uh, the, the Italian politicians are very uncurrent. So for for us, uh, it's not a surprise that Giorgio Meloni was the, the rising star now. Hmm. Now again, I want to go back to the article. This is something that you wrote, and I think it's interesting for us to dive into a little bit deeper. Now, when we talk about Giorgia Maloney, that you wrote is that Maloney is no is no longer a junior partner, and she is the leader. As a matter of fact, her success was built, among other things, on the credibility crisis of her adversaries. 
her adversaries on the left and her allies on the right. So help us to understand what does that mean when you wrote she's the leader and also how did she actually build her credibility in today's political changes in Italy? Okay, in the last uh, five, uh, no, in the last 10 uh, years, uh, Giorgio Meloni was uh, at the position, at the position of the center-left government, at the position of the uh, Mario Draghi government, at the position of, of Lega and Salvini government. So she built his credi her credibility with the... Uh, she, she didn't change, she didn't change position. Uh, she was at opposition. She rests the position mm. and she say, when well, it's my time, I win the election and go to the government and go to government. Okay? Uh, it's uh, mm, for the Italian people, uh, uh, this is important just because uh, in Italy, mm, we mm, normally, uh, the, the, the Italian politician uh, uh, change, idea, change ideas many, many times. For example, uh, in the left, the Democratic Party was uh, against the five-star movement. So after that, it cre they create a government with the five-star movement. Also, Matteo Salvini was uh, against the left, but uh, he, he with, uh, he, with uh, the, uh, the center-left in a national government directed by Mario Draghi. Giorgio Meloni, no. Giorgio Meloni was at the opposition. Giorgio Meloni was the friendly face of far right, but uh, she didn't change uh, the, the position. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's very important, just because the uh, for the for the elector in Italy is a, a sign of credibility. Mm. Now, I want to, again, uh, I want to keep on pressing on the answer that you just shared. For Georgia Maloney, that, again, I believe for anyone who runs to become a politician or who runs to become the prime minister for the country, there has to be certain unique credibility or certain unique characteristics that really brings people together or make the person more trust uh, trustworthy. Now, Giorgio, help us to understand, again, you as an a, a, a Italian voter and you as an expert in this field, how should we describe the characteristics of Maloney at this moment? And also, again, regarding to the, uh, to the far left and the far right, how are they running the systems differently today? Okay, uh, Meloni is very similar to Salvini. Is uh, she's a right wing politician. Uh, she's uh, uh, she came from the, the, far, the Italian far right, the Movimento Sociale Italiano. Uh, but there is a, a, a difference between Salvini. Uh, Meloni came after Salvini. So she tried to uh, normalize the, their uh, their position. So, for example, the, the, the government of Meloni, uh, she said, is uh, uh, pro-Ukraine, she's pro-NATO, uh, she's pro-free market. Uh, she the, the, the Meloni, um, Meloni tried to, uh, I think, similar to Marine Le Pen in France, the, diabol the diabolization. So she trying to uh, become a, a friendly face of the of the right. Uh, she mm, many times she rejected the, the fascism. She rejected Benito. She criticized Benito Mussolini, mm. uh, Gio Giorgio Meloni, not uh, not other other member of Giorgio Meloni party. Only Giorgio Meloni this thing. But she she tried to. Mm, normalize their position. She tries to say, okay, I'm a politician, like many politicians, better than many politicians, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm not a monster. Mm. And so this is, uh, uh, this is important just because uh, she, um, she proposed a, a very right-wing program, but uh, uh, not... Uh, Mm, she should try to not scare the, the market, the, the European institution. Uh, she tried to, mm, mm, to transform in for, for uh, I think the, the, the best uh, 
the Bakery Companion was uh, the, uh, the first Victor Orban, uh, who was uh, pro market, pro EU, but uh, was a, a right wing politician, pro market, and pro EU. This is similar to Giorgio Meloni now. Mm. I want to go back to the article again. When we talk about any leaders today, and I think coming to the constituents or coming to the voters, policies actually speak louder words than actions. So when we look at the policy, again, this is something that you wrote. You say, Melanie's program largely overlaps with the leagues, especially when it comes to immigration. They support close borders and, and naval blockades to prevent asylum seekers from reaching the country by sea. There's a small difference. So again, help us to understand, because right now we're living in this unpredictable world when we see asylum seekers and when we see the uh, refugees and also the immigrants, by closing the borders or by closing the doors, that might seem unpopular. But, Mano but Maloney seems very confident about her policy or seems about confident very much about her proposal. How is that so, by the way? And how is that even going to uh, run smoothly as a politician in Italy today? Okay, uh, no one cares uh, as you can see in Italy. Uh, no one. Uh, the, the first uh, to uh, close border was the Marco Minniti, the center left uh, uh, interior minister in Italy. Uh, so there is a, a strong uh, uh, position of, uh, uh, some tradition, sorry, of uh, uh, closing border in Italy, uh, almost from, uh, uh, I mean, 10 years. Uh, so the, the position of Meloni was not uh, so strange for the Italian people just because the, the, the war against the immigrants, against the Zilum Seeker, uh, is the normal, unfortunately, is the, the, the normality in Italy. He, uh, the position of, of Giorgio Meloni was not uh, so different than the position of Matteo Renzi when mm. Matteo Renzi was Prime Minister or Paolo Gentiloni, the man after Matteo. Renzi, uh, and not so different the, the first uh, uh, government of, uh, um, of Conte, the, 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 the League and Five Star Movement government. Uh, so uh, nobody cares about, uh, about immigrants and asylum seeker uh, in Italy. It's, uh, unfortunately, the, 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 racism, the racism in Italy is uh, utilized. Uh, so it's not uh, for, for Meloni it's not a big deal say close border just because uh, everyone in Italy say close border mm. now the following paragraph again Giorgio you wrote that she declared which is Meloni she declared I am Georgia I am a woman I am a mother and I am a Christian you know again I think from if we put all the titles in this Western hemisphere, I think having this religious value or having this religious affiliation, that could actually carry a person a long way, especially for any politicians. But in Italy, but again, as a woman, not only she acknowledged that she's a mother, she's a woman, and she's a Christian, how significant for her or for people to understand her responsibility as a, a, a as a politician and also her Christian faith and running in the society today. Okay, the, the words "sono una donna, sono madre cristiana." I'm a, a, a woman, a, a mother, and Christian uh, uh, became famous in Italy because it was remixed by uh, two DJs in uh, I mean. Uh, 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 center right uh, rally uh, okay it's important but it's not uh, uh, so important uh, uh, Meloni the, consider Meloni speak to uh, um, center or right wing waters so for the uh, for the, the value of uh, Christian is for are uh, against uh, Islam they are against uh, cultural I mean, uh, the, the concept of uh, uh, Christian in particular uh, is, uh, mm, mm, is important just because uh, it's a sort of opposition. So uh, when, you, when in Italy you say, I'm a Christian, uh, 
uh, you don't say I respect the Pope, uh, I'm a, a, a very strong Christian, I respect the poor, I help the poor. No, uh, you say I'm against Islam. Mm. Uh, the, the term Christian is a sort of uh, uh, identity of Islamophobia, Islamophobia. Just because when you say I'm a Christian, you say I want a church in Mecca. Okay, mm. uh, I don't want uh, uh, the mosque in Italy. Uh, so uh, it's a sort of a badge for the uh, right wing politician. Just because for the, the right wing voters, uh, the, the value of uh, uh, Christian as a symbol of uh, anti Islam is more important of Christian himself. Mm. Now, I want to get to the foreign policy side. Again, going back to the article that you wrote that initially Georgia Maloney, she's very pro-NATO because, again, I think NATO uh, has become one of the buzzwords since we're paying attention to the war in Ukraine. At this moment, can you help us? How would you describe Maloney's, her view on Vladimir Putin? And also, why do you think that she's so close or she's an advocate for NATO? Is it just because that she's running for this position or she has much bigger ambition in terms of building the relationship with NATO and also to show her desire or expressions regarding the war in Ukraine? Okay, uh, the NATO and the, the position about Ukraine uh, are a part of the process of normalization. So uh, you, you are Meloni is a, came from after Salvini. Salvini was pro Russia. Salvini was uh, uh, against NATO, against uh, the, the European Union. But uh, in the end, uh, um, he. he, he she prefer adopt a, a um, more uh, soft approach. So uh, Meloni came from the far right, but uh, she said, "Okay, I'm a normal politician. I'm from. I'm pro NATO. I'm pro Ukraine. Please let me uh, uh, let me govern. And just just because I'm a politician better than others, but I'm a politician like others." Uh, I'm a normal politician, I'm not a monster, I'm not uh, a friend of Putin, uh, just because uh, uh, um, Italy is not uh, so strong and big to um, destroy the, the Western alliance, uh, but uh, is not so small uh, to um, be uh, in the, for, for, the, uh, for the European part, uh, Italy is, uh, is not so strong to destroy the, the Western alliance uh, if uh, Italy say, okay, I go with the Russia, I'm uh, anti-NATO. But, uh, uh, I mean, Italy is not so small to um, say, okay, I'm neutral, I don't want to, con to participate in the uh, anti-Russia alliance. Uh, so, Melani, um, she has a, 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 a soft approach just because for her, uh, um, I mean, uh, she think uh, with the, this approach, she think she had a good chance to become uh, Italy's next prime minister. And so, uh, she think uh, establishment, uh, establish a good relation with the United States uh, is a good thing. Mm. Giorgio, I know you're very busy and stay with me. I got two more questions before letting you go. Okay. Now, going back to the article, this is something that you wrote and I think it's very outstanding for our audience to understand. Within the article, and I quote, even if Maloney comes from a post-fascist party, which was founded by people openly nostalgic for the Benito Mussolini era, Italy don't appear particularly worried. Help us to understand, because when we think about Benito Mussolini, historically speaking, let's be honest, this figure has been very controversial, especially for some people on the European side. So right now, that within this article that you brought, uh, uh, again, you mentioned Benito Mussolini because some people openly, openly nostalgic for the era. What are you trying to say by putting Benito Mussolini and Giorgia Maloney together? 
Ok, Giorgio Mogami came from uh, a movimento sociale. Il movimento sociale was the party of uh, Mussolini Hairs, but uh, she spent the most part, the most part of uh, her political career in the Alleanza Nazionale, a post fascist movement. Uh, Uh, who um, was at the government uh, with uh, Silvio Berlusconi in the last uh, years. Uh, the, 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 the problem is uh, Meloni was, uh, in the past, was at the government. Uh, Meloni uh, was uh, a miss of youth in the last Berlusconi no, uh, Uh, government. So uh, the, the, the aspect of Benito Mussolini is not important just because, uh, okay, she's a uh, uh, nostalgic Mussolini, but uh, I mean, she was uh, in the past, she was the government and uh, uh, nobody changed. Uh, uh, when uh, in the last uh, government of Berlusconi, she was the, um, the minister of youth. Uh, okay, it's a sort of joke just because uh, there was a young politician uh, and uh, the other politician told her uh, to do the youth minister. Uh, she had not uh, a real assignment, uh, for example, when she proposed to boycott the Beijing Olympics, no one listed her. But uh, it's important, uh, she, was, uh, uh, she was minister. It's, for, for the Italian, it's not strange. So the, the, the aspect of Mussolini, uh, it's a secondary of uh, at this point, just because uh, she say, okay, I, I came from the story, but uh, I, mm, I don't like Mussolini. I'm, uh, I, I was born in the 80s. I never met Mussolini. So please, I'm a politician like, uh, like others. I don't want to deny Mussolini, but also I don't want to restore Mussolini. Mm. Please talk uh, to the, the question of this year, not to Mussolini. Mm. Now, Giorgio, I want to wrap up our conversation again towards the end of the article. This is something that you wrote. Maloney's real challenge will be how to handle power in the medium term. It's easy to get burned in this country again this is something that also you uh, uh, um, interviewed another scholar but help us to understand what does that mean it's easy to get burned in this country again this is a very critical uh, a crucial period for italy today because if the country is going to elect a brand new prime minister very soon especially a woman is going to run the country, uh, take on such an uh, uh, important position, how, how would you think she's going to handle the pressure politically and also economically? But meanwhile, what does that mean that if she's not careful, she will be burned? What does that mean? Okay, the political cycles uh, in Italy uh, today are very small. I think to Matteo Renzi was the prime minister. Now it's uh, a, um, a secretary of uh, a personal party, a very small personal party. Uh, I think to the first star movement, uh, the first star movement uh, five years ago was the uh, first party in Italy, the most important party in Italy. Now it's uh, around 10%. 10% of the pools. Uh, so the, the problem uh, um, is uh, um, in, it, in Italy, uh, in the last years, except Berlusconi, in the last year, but Berlusconi now it's too old. Uh, in the last year, the uh, all leaders uh, are barred. Just because uh, there is a, a very difficult situation in Italy, a, a difficult situation in economy, a, dif a difficult situation, uh, especially now with the ice, uh, with the, uh, the, the problem of the, the Italian com economy. Uh, so uh, it's difficult to uh, stay in power uh, just because the, the voters uh, uh, give you uh, um, the vote, but after that, the, the, the a part uh, go to abstention, a part uh, go to another party. So uh, if you think that the major party in the last uh, five years, uh, no one uh, is strong. Now it's the turn of Meloni, just because Meloni in the last 10 years was opposition. So the people vote anti-establishment party. It's not important uh, 
out type of anti-established party. The people want anti-established party. The people want the uh, politician who was at the position. The people want a uh, politician with a strong message. But when the politician who was the position, when the politician with a strong message got to government, became a, became a main Many, many problems just because the, the economy in Italy is so um, so difficult uh, and uh, um, it's uh, uh, it's complicated for for everyone uh, so um, I mean I'm not sure that uh, Giorgio Belloni after this year uh, well, uh, uh, she's also she's the uh, a political, uh, um, I mean, I, I don't know the exact term, uh, but uh, I'm not sure Giorgio Meloni uh, at the, the, the end of the, this, uh, this year, I'm not uh, the, the sure that it was uh, uh, for five years, uh, but uh, mm, the, 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 the real problem of Giorgio Meloni is, is uh, uh, how long the, her popularity will last uh, just because uh, uh, it's very easy because the, the situation is very difficult to get mm. burned in Italy. Mm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm speaking Georgia, and again, Georgia is a freelance writer and all the way in Italy. And again, I encourage everyone to go online, look for his amazing article, it's entitled How Georgia Melanie Took Over the Italian Right. Georgia, thank you so much for taking your time and join us all the way from Italy, and we wish you the best, and we love to have you back on the show as we continue to follow this political and social changes in Italy. Thank you, Georgia.